In this video, I'll be doing a lab covering DHCP troubleshooting. It is part of the Gold Bootcamp CCNA course from blackbox.com. I'm taking it and highly recommend it. So let's get started. The campus LAN has been configured by users in the 10.10.10.0 network, which is down here, are complaining of connectivity issues. Your task is to troubleshoot the configuration and ensure that all PCs have connectivity to each other and to the service provider router. R2 has been configured as a DHCP, DHCP server for the PCs in the 10.10.10.0/24 subnet. The service provider router is an external device which you do not have any administrative access to. It has been pre-configured as a DHCP server, which will give an IP address to the outside interface on R1. And it's marked here that this should be a DHCP client. Use show commands to discover the IP address of the service provider router. Okay, well, we're not able to... Let's see what IPs we have configured on the PC. So IP config all. And we can see when we open this up that it's working with an IP address of 169254163.89, which is not correct at all. This is not part of any of these subnets, that's for sure. And it has no DHCP server listed. It does have a DNS server of 8.8.8.8, .8 .8, which I believe is Google's DNS server. Uh, let's look at EC2, command prompt, IP config all. And yeah, it's the same kind of issue. This is not the, this uh, IP address isn't going to work with routing in these subnets. And again, no DHCP server listed here. Um, so we have to look at the DHCP is sent via broadcast, um, the messages and broadcast messages aren't going to go past a router unless it's specifically configured to allow it. And we need to make sure it is because the DHCP server is over here on router two. So router one might be just ignoring the broadcast. So let's open the command line for router one. Enable, T. Or actually, before we do that, let's look at, uh, let's do it the running, look at the running configuration. So let's pipe out the running configuration to begin with the section of interface. And let's look what we have here. So we have interface, fast ethernet 00, which is here, has no IP address. Okay, so it's not even, it's supposed to be a DHCP client. It's not receiving an IP address from the service provider. And then interface 01 has the IP address of 10.10.10.1. That's correct. And the subnet looks right. So slash 24. Uh, but it doesn't have an IP helper address. This is, this should be here. Fast, uh, so the router interface that connects to the subnet that's going to be sending DHCP broadcasts that are on the other side of the router, you need to configure this specific interface. And it looks like this is interface 10 is configured with the IP helper address command. So we need to fix that. We need to go. Okay. I'm just going to copy that. Yep. And we're going to remove that command because that's on the wrong interface. So comp T an interface that was one zero. Um, no, sorry. Yeah. Uh, interface fast ethernet one zero. And we're going to just paste here and we're going to do, um, a control A to go at the beginning of the line and type no. So that'll get rid of that helper address command from the one zero interface. So we'll hit enter. Now we want to put that on the correct interface, which is zero one. So we'll drop down a level and we're going to do interface fast ethernet zero one. And let's just paste that command in IP helper address 10.10.20.10. Well, that's not sure that's correct. 
I wonder if it should be 10.10.20.2. And let's do Enable, uh, nope, show, uh, show IP interface brief. Let me see. 10.10.10.2. I guess we would actually, that's for that particular interface. So that probably is right that it's 10. And we're going to go with that. Let's see. I think I should change that to 2, though. I'm going to change it to two. And we'll, if it doesn't work, we'll we'll come back. Um, so that's fixed. So we now have the the helper address. So let's let's end and let's do a show run and pipe that out to begin with the interface. And now we see zero zero has no IP address. So we're going to have to put one back on there. Uh, and it has Interface 01 has an IP address, and it's got the helper address. That looks right. And one, oh, I see 00 is the one connecting to the service provider, so we got to fix that. And then 10 10 10 one that's correct. So let's go ahead and fix the problem with this interface not getting an IP address. So we need to set this up as a client, a DHCP client. So let's do, uh, you know, comp T and we're gonna do interface and it's gonna be fast ethernet and it's gonna be zero, zero. And we're gonna issue the command IP address and it's gonna just be DHCP. And then we'll, sh uh, there it goes, it popped up, it got one. You can see it was assigned right there. So let's look at that. Do our just show DHCP lease. And we can see that it did get an address of 203.0.113.2. So that was assigned to this interface. And the server is at 20, the DHCP lease server is at 203.0.113.201. So let's take a look at the PCs and see if they can ping that address and quit and let's try pinging and we're going to just paste in that address uh oops i saved the wrong grabbed the wrong thing um where was it 203.0.113.202 uh 201 203.0.113.201 and let's try that again. And let's see what happens. Pull this over. I'm going to fast forward in time on Packet Tracer. It timed out. Um, let's see. Well, I never checked to see. Let's do this. Let's go and do. Um, we want to renew the configuration. So IP config renew, and that's on PC one. Jump forward in time, DHCP request still fail. And let's take a look at router two. And so we need to confirm it is set up with DHCP, first of all. So let's do a show run command. And we do have DHCP there. So exclude addresses 10.10.10.1, which is this interface, through 10.10.10.10, which would make sense because then it would give you some IPs to assign to printers and things. The IP DHCP pool is named Flackbox. The network is 10.10.10.0, 10.10.10.0, since slash 24, that's correct. This is not correct. Uh, this is a slash 32, it should be a slash 24. The default router is 10.10.10.1, yes, that's right. So we're gonna, we need to change this. So let's undo that command first. And to do that, we need to go into comp T. 
and we want to go into IP DHCP pool and it was for black box and we we're going to put let's just paste that in there and because this is wrong this is a slash 32 it should be slash 24 so control a to jump to the beginning of the line and type no and that will remove that line and then we're going to need to correct it though with the network 10.10.10.0 255.255.255.0, which will make it a slash 24. And let's do um, and go run. And that looks good. All right, that looks good. So let's go back to the PCs and let's do the IP config renew command. And now it's working. So PC1 has the IP address of 10.10.10.11. It's got the proper subnet mask. Its default gateway is 10.10.10.1, which is shown here. Uh, let's try pinging. Well, let's go to PC2 and set it. Make sure it's set uh, renewed. So we'll hit. So um, IP config renew. And let's see how it does. Yep. It picked it up, so 10.10.10.12. So let's try pinging the PCs one to the other. So we're going to ping from PC1 at 10.10.10.11 to 10.10.10.12. And we got a reply. And let's do the same from PC2 over to PC1.11. And we have a reply. That's good. Now we need to try ping the ISP again and let's see what happens. So we've got a ping going, move this over, timed out. That could be ARP or there could still be a problem. Let's see, timed out, timed. Okay, now we're, now we got a response. Okay, so that worked. So that worked for PC1 and PC2, um, let me grab that address again. 203.0.113.201. So let's ping that from PC2. And we're going to go forward in time a little bit with packet tracer. And yes, we got replies. So that worked. So that is taken care of. Uh, troubleshoot the configuration, ensure that all PCs have connectivity to each other, which they do, and to the service provider router, which we now found out they do. So in this lab, we discovered that we had uh, configuration problems with uh, R2, router two, which is the DHCP server. It had a bad subnet mask. Um, router one, we didn't have the correct interface configured for the IP helper command, so we fixed that. Also on router one, it wasn't configured as a client, so it wasn't pulling an IP address it wasn't being given an IP address from the service provider. We took care of that. Um, and then we confirmed that we could ping each other on the PCs and the service provider. So that ends that lab and I will see you in the next video.